Hey everybody, it is Margaret Texas Gal Treasures and I am here today with a jewelry unboxing. I won a few lots in an online auction and I wanted to unbox them with you guys today. Um, I do have a mini bonus haul that I thought I would show just at the beginning because I picked up a few things over the last couple days just at Salvation Army and then at a jewelry at a uh, rather garage sale this morning. So. Um, I'll show those real quick. So one of the things I picked up was this um, toast. It's like a toast holder, right? Um, but it's got some British hallmarks. I'm pretty sure it's, um, I keep saying, um, where's my nickel jar, right? Uh, I'm pretty sure that it is plated, but still probably at least a $30 or, or more sale right there. That was $2.99. Hey, in the chat, I am live. So I'm going to show these things, and then we'll jump into the jewelry haul. By the way, hey. If you're new here, my name is Margaret, and I make videos about making and saving money. One of the ways I do that is by picking things up at garage sales and estate sales and thrift stores and flipping them on Etsy and eBay and places for a profit. So um, also at Salvation Army, I paid up for this. <laughs> What's with me lately? I've been paying I've been paying up for stuff. But I'm I'm thinking I might keep this. Look at this. So it's a pedestal and it's got the I can never say it. it starts with this Cleo click I can't say it. It starts with a C L O I C H E. It's spelled like that. But anyway, I'll I'll butcher it. So anyway, it's got this like hanger in there for an ornament. It's from Pottery Barn. So even if I resold it, I would certainly get my money back because usually Pottery Barn stuff sells pretty well. But I'm kind of tempted to keep it and like put something weird like hanging in there. My only thing is I've got two boys and four cats and this is glass and that sounds like a recipe for disaster so and they play nerf and all kinds of stuff hey hey in the chat people are jumping Cl close okay i knew i was gonna say it wrong where she okay and then so this morning i went to a garage sale and i picked up a few things again what did i say i'm picking up smalls and things like that but if i see something that's like gorgeous darling i'm gonna pick it up look at this gorgeous gorgeous vase so I spent 10 bucks at this garage sale this morning, and this was one of the, the items that I picked up. This beautiful vase, it is Crystal X Bohemia. And now I looked it up, and this brand doesn't necessarily, some of their pieces don't sell for a ton, um, but I maybe paid a dollar for it at the garage sale, and I'm pretty sure I could get my money back. But it's way prettier than some of the other ones I've seen up there. It's kind of hard to see. It's got this almost like cranberry glass. If you guys know what cranberry glass is, um, you know, the stripes and then the gold stripes on it. So pretty, pretty, pretty. Hey, hey, hey in the chat. And then also at the scratch, so I picked up a, a couple things for my sister because she does, you know, silver plated silverware and things for um, making wind chimes. So I picked up some of that. That was part of the 10 bucks. And this was also part of the 10 bucks. They didn't have any jewelry, but they had a couple jewelry boxes. So this one, and it the music box in it doesn't work, but I haven't played with it, so maybe I can fix it. Right, Maggie, the weather. Well, Friday I was going to go out, but it was 43 degrees, and I said no. <laughs> but this morning, I, I had to go quick. I saw there was one not far, just up the street from me, not far. My son's birthday party was this morning, so I couldn't go. I'm beat, y'all. <laughs> we had a birthday party today. And then this is the other one. I picked up one very similar to this recently. And this one, it's got that vintage look to it. It plays raindrops keep falling on my head. So, you know, it's not that old. Well, maybe it's older than I think it is. Okay. All right. So I'm going to say, hey, 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 new subscribers. So I'm scrolling back up in the chat. Happy Saturday. Yes. Hello, everybody. Just bought Susan Shaw and I, oh, cool, cool. Okay, hello, hello, sold to Joan Rivers, oh, good. We were just, what was, it, what was it that we were talking about with Joan Rivers? Oh, it was that brooch that I got, that's right. Um, remi right, that, that reminds you of Beauty and the Beast where had the rose in there, oh, yeah, yeah. Let's see, I know, well, Julie, let me tell you, I was trying to be good this morning, I know where this is a haul video, I was trying to be good this morning because I knew we were gonna have pizza and cake at my son's birthday party at this play place, so I packed a bag of like ham in my purse because I was trying not to, I was trying not to eat cake and pizza, so I had ham in my purse, is that weird? Put a taxidermy item in there, oh yeah, that little 
Cloche. I'm sure I'm sure I'm saying it wrong. Um, let's see. Uh, you would have kept that vase, right? If my here's the thing: if my grandmother was still living, this would be under the tree for her in a second. Because she, I mean, I know this is not cranberry glass, but if you, it's painted to look like cranberry glass, right? Um, because she collected that was one of her collection things. Anything she collected, cranberry glass stuff. Okay, let's see. All right, so here we go. I'm not. First of all, okay, before I do this, I am not going to tell you the auction, so don't even ask, right? Um, the the reason is that one of our, I'm going to call her a jewelry enabler, because in jewelry lovers and sellers, um, we've started like joking and calling each other enablers, because we were like, oh, I don't know if I should go to this auction. I don't know if I should, I don't need really to buy any more. And everyone's like, just do it. Life is short. So I'm like, okay, jewelry enablers, thanks a lot. One of our jewelry enablers um shared this auction online thanks a lot Angela I'm calling you out <laughs> and I went and looked and was like oh yeah I'm bidding on some stuff so I won some some of the lots that I bid on uh, and also I know some of the jewelry lovers are here tell me what you think I'm thinking we're gonna do a um a secret Santa wouldn't that be fun like so I'm gonna I'm gonna put, put the notice up in the group where and what the rules are so if you're interested in doing a jewelry secret Santa wouldn't that be fun you guys um we will I'll get the, the the ball rolling with that in the group so I have the link down below if you're interested jewelry lovers and sellers Margaret says I was you I was bidding against <laughs> I am slightly competitive <laughs> Just the teens. <laughs> I didn't pay too much though, so yeah, I didn't go too too high. Um, yeah, so definitely, if you're interested, check out Jewelry Lovers and Sellers. The links down below. It's five bucks a month to join, fifty dollars for the year. It's it's really worth it. And yeah, okay. I can't. I pulled up the lots so I could tell you what I paid on each lot, but honestly, I I can't remember a whole lot of what I bought. So we'll see. Okay, here's this. Here we go. Right? right I was because the guys, the merch talk guys, were talking about doing a secret Santa between the four of us for shirts. And I was like, ooh, we need to do that in jewelry levers and sellers. I would do it with iLot, but I'm like, there's like six thousand people. I don't think I can handle that. Let's see. I was just out Christmas caroling. Maggie says, okay, that's oh, okay, okay. This is my Oh, this is my invoice, so I didn't have to pull it up. Cool. Let's see. Mine is on auto pay. Oh, Maripo yeah, yeah. So you can just pay five bucks a month, or you can pay. It. I like it. Okay, so here we go. Lot number this one. It came in a box. Let's shake it. What could it be? Okay, let's see. It's taped. Okay, where's my scissors? I need more space, I think. So they had some really nice stuff um, at this auction. And some of the prices ended up being okay. And if you're in the group, you'll find out. Okay, so this lot, let me see if I can find out which one this is so I can tell you how much I paid for it. I'll hold it up so you can kind of see. Do you see what it is? It is, I have to count because I got a couple, I got a couple lots of hat pins. And this was one of them. So I'm going to take them out and show you. Some hat pins, oh, some hat pins can go for good money and some of them, not so much. Okay, there's a piece of cottony thing. So everything was sticking to this cotton piece. So this, oh, okay, I know which lot this was. This was the one that was seven bucks. So this lot was $7 and it was titled Hat Pin. Hat pins, color stones, pearls, rhinestones, some with old gold look, black bakelite with rhinestones. Okay, oops, there goes that. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to show you these hat pins. And again, some hat pins won't go for a ton of money, but some of the vintage ones can. So there's this little one like that. So some I could lot up. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, look at this. This looks like the one they were saying kind of an old gold look. Oh, and I don't have my magnet. So not prepared. Look how pretty that one has almost like this amethyst colored stone in it. Oh, that one's really pretty. And that I see what they say about the old gold look. There are markings. There are markings on there. <gasps> Where's my phone? I need to call my husband to get my <laughs> for me. I don't have my phone to zoom in either. Oh, so not prepared. Poor form, Margaret. 
All right. Let me see what I can do for that. I'm going to set that to the side. Okay, so next up we've got this one. Isn't that pretty? So this was all in that lot that was seven bucks. So this was all seven bucks. And this is the back. And so it comes off, you know, comes out through this side. Like that. It opens up. Hello, hello in the chat. I am live, so if you're watching later, um, hit that little bell so you can find out when I go live. So I will definitely make more than seven bucks. Here's some more of these hat pins. Let's see. This is the one I think, I think they labeled this one as Bakelite. I'm not sure that it is. It's awfully shiny. I can smell it. It's kind of shiny for Bakelite, so I'm not sure. Go get it, we'll wait. I may, I may have to. Okay, so that's really pretty though. I don't think it matters that it's not Bakelite. Because look how shiny that is. It's super duper shiny. No, I don't think so. I'm just trying to smell it. Some some people can't smell. Some No, I don't. Eh, all right. I'll have to test it later. Okay, so there's another with the black tip on it, like so. Again, this is all still just that seven dollar lot. Look how pretty this one is. Can y'all see it? Okay. And this was a lot that I couldn't really, you know, it was kind of there and I couldn't really get up close to it. That's not missing any stones either. I thought that might miss, be missing some stones, but it's not. Isn't that pretty? And then that's where it pulls out right there. Pretty. Okay. I just dropped the pin. So here's some more that'll, like these ones probably won't go for a lot, a, a bunch. I can lock those up, but still. Then this, this one is really interesting. Look. And this is on like so that's interesting this kind of reminds me and my mom mentioned this she was looking at my etsy store and she was like margaret you have some hat pins labeled as hijab pins they're not hijab pins they're hat pins i said mom i put hijab pins on them too because some of the ladies that wear the hijabs like the head scarves they'll look for you know hat pins that are like vintage hat pins so that could be like a hijab pin i could put that on there too isn't that cool that's interesting. I've never seen one quite like that. All right, next. Hello, hello in the chat. There's that one. And then this one looks really like the 20s, 30s, right? Very cool. And sometimes they're longer. Some are longer than others. Can y'all hear me okay? I don't have my ear, my earbud in. Look at that one. Pretty. Okie dokie. Ooh, this one. See this one too. Okay, that's the top on it. And then it's got, what is that, an N? Looks like an N. The only problem with this one is it's broken. But I'm gonna I'm gonna take a look at that top part because it's you know, like she said, that old gold look, but look, there's that green, verde, ver what do you call it, verde green? Is it green in there? I need my loop. I wonder, I'm gonna mute it and holler at Randy, hang on. <gasps> okay, you can hear me, okay. Can you, can you grab my black purse from the table and bring it to me, please? Okay, he's getting it. <laughs> okay. I thought stick pins are pins for lapels. Yeah, I mean, you can put lapel on there, too, especially on the shorter ones. But some of them are for, for old hat pins or if they can wear them in their hijabs. Thank you, Randy. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, I'm digging for my loop. I don't think my magnet's in here. Hang on. I had my hand on it. <sighs> Sorry, y'all. I thought I had my loop. I have my loop, but I don't have my magnet. Okay, that's fine. I got the loop, though. Okay, so let's take a look at this one again. We're going in on this one. Because I saw some little scratchy marks. So I'm going to see what it says. 
I can't read it <laughs> still. The Cloister Bell from Dr. Hey, Lydia. Okay, I'm looking. Hmm. There are marks that I just can't read. They're really like scratched up. So I'm, I'll probably have to test this one because it does have that look to it. Okay, keeping on. This one has marks too. Okay, look at this one. There's another one. See, like some of these could easily be marked as lapel pins, but you can see the marks right there. So I'm going to go in and see what that says. I missed where she said she bought this lot. Was it the auction thing? Yes, Cindy, don't tell, all right? It's a jewelry lover secret. I mean, a jewelry enabler secrets. This one says, I have it upside down. Um, it says something, uh, it looks like an I, K, A, R, and Co. Ica R and Co. That's what it looks like it says. Because it's like an ampersand. Anyway, again, I'll have to, my magnet, my desk is a mess. So my magnet is here somewhere. So there's that. Gosh, this is still the first lot. Isn't it cool? So there's this one, swirly, swirly green. I'll try to move a little faster so, so we can go through the other lots too. Like there. There we go. That one's kind of neat. That's kind of neat. And overall, I hang on. I'll tell you what I paid for the whole for all of everything. So everything I bought was forty-eight dollars. Not bad. Okay, keeping on. I'm keeping on. There's this one. This one's kind of pretty. Like that. Definitely cool. Hello. Oh, good. You have to watch later. Okay, that's fine. Look at this one. That's pretty. So this one I would probably label more like a lapel pin, but I might still put hijab pin, hat pin on there. That stone is really pretty too. I'm going to have to come back and look at some of these a little closer. All right. There's one. That's pretty neat. With a big pearly pearl on top. And I'm trying to pick out the cooler looking ones. There. This one, as they say, like it said, has old gold look. This has that old gold look too. Pretty. It almost looks like a class ring. Oh, the red one. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm just going to kind of pick around. Oh, this one's cool. Ooh, this one's really pretty. Okay, look. You can see where it's peeling off, though. But it's still really pretty, isn't it? That's nice. Is it just my eyes? Or is it really, like, peeling? Yeah, it's, like, rubbing off the gold color. But it's still really pretty. I like that. Then, this is a unique-looking one. Like so. And then it would pull out of there. And yeah, that one's kind of looks like it's kind of messed up, but it kind of looks like a bug. Aren't they cool? I couldn't resist them. I just couldn't. Ooh, this is different. I don't. I don't know. This is this looks like it's part of a clock or something. Like it's got this hole on this side. I think this is not a hat pin. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't wear hat pins. I actually have sold a bunch because my grandmother collected hat pins and she also, with some of her artsy friends, she she used to make them with beads, like get fancy beads and make hat pins, you know? There's a couple more of the pearly ones. It was an auction, but she's keeping it a secret. That's right. I would tell you if, if it was my secret, but it's, a, it's an auction that I was told about from one of our jewelry lovers. And she may not want me to share it out outside the group. And as a friend, I would hate to betray her confidence. Okay, so there's that one. That one's kind of cool. This is all still in that $7 lot. Okay, I'll just show you a couple more from in here. Look at that. That looks like a little, like a little UFO, right? 
<laughs> Take me to your leader, right? That's pretty cool. I like that one. Okay, and then, yeah, I mean, the rest are just kind of like standard, like so. <laughs> you haven't gotten into hat pins, Cindy says. And then there's that one. Okay, so I didn't really finish showing them. There was a few more in there, but most of them I showed you. Okay, so all of that is seven bucks. Okay. Here we go. I'm going to keep going. I'm putting them back in so they don't spill all over the floor. And I'll let you know about the other one. I'm going to test a couple of these because there were question marks on a couple of them. Okay, next. Look, it's like Christmas. We're unwrapping them. Let's see what this lot is. Oh, this is the elephant one. So the elephant lot I paid $3 for. Two elephant pins, large rhinestones. No, that's one. That's not it. These are it. No, these are it. So this is the elephant lot that I paid three bucks for. And that's one of the things about jewelry is that there there are collectors for everything. And elephants is one. And some of the pins, some of the little rhinestones fell off one of this elephants, but they're in there, so I can fix them. So there's one elephant. And like I say, some of the little color, like the little stones came off but they're in there so i can glue them back on there's that and it's a brooch you can see right there looking at the clasp on it see how old it, old it is how old it is a lot of times you can date brooches by the clasp <laughs> oh shoot that would make you guys poke one of those in your foot it's true and there is one on the floor <laughs> one of them did fall seven bucks right that was a good deal and then here's this little elephant pin and that's a little pin on the back for that one. Okay, so that was three bucks for those. Then next, these ones are for me because um, I like pickles. Um, so these were four dollars. These are Heinz Heinz pickles pins. <laughs> Here, let's see. These are little. See Heinz pickles. <laughs> I just thought they were fun. And there was somebody bidding against me. Was it you, Margaret? <laughs> there was somebody bidding against me. I'm like, these pickles are coming home with me. Four bucks, man. So I got three Heinz pickles. I don't think I'm selling, though. I think they're going to go in my, you know, I've got one of those little, not a little, but like a typeset wooden things, the little cubbies. So I think it's going to go in one of my cubbies, the little pickles. <laughs> Let me get this pin before I forget because it's right here. I'm gonna try. Things are tight. Well, yeah. Got it. <laughs> you know, I'll forget and then that'll stab right in my foot. Jewelry resellers need to be up to date on their tetanus shot. This is true. <laughs> mark that. <clears throat> um, Bilda in the, in the chat saying, mark the, make sure when you list the elephant, you mark it with the trunk up because that's good luck. Yes, absolutely. That's a good tip. Okay, next, hello, hello. Okay, so next up is another lot of pins. This one was $13. Okay, so let's see why I paid $13 for this bag of pins. I mean, first of all, it was 15 pins. 15 pins for $13. It's less than a dollar a pin, so that's good. I'm going to dump them here. Try to dump them here. Come on. Cooperate, you. Hello. Oh, no problem, Michelle. Pickles. <laughs> Thanks, Tim. Pickles and hot dogs. I don't know what it is. They just... My, and my youngest is obsessed with pickles. He is a pickle fanatic. But yeah. Okay, so these are some pins that I picked. These ones were... What did I say? 15, 13 bucks. 13 bucks for these ones. Okay, here we go. We are here watching Z, Tom, and think, oh, fun. I'm missing it. Darn it. I'll watch them later. <laughs> okay, so here is another. They didn't invite me, Dave. They didn't invite me. <laughs> this one's really pretty. It has that Art Nouveau look to it, doesn't it? I really wish I had my magnet here. I, I really do. Oh, well. 
Yes, hit that thumbs up. Isn't that gorgeous? I think that's just beautiful. Look at that. Okay, that was worth it right there. Okay, look at this one. Okay, and, the, and this is, if you're thinking of getting into jewelry, a good entry point is finding animal stuff because there's a collector for every kind of animal. And look at this dog. This is a pointer. Oh, isn't that cute? Well, Builder said, my youngest ate a jar of pickles. He came to me and was very concerned because his BM was green. <laughs> you know what? This is funny. This is my youngest. Um, when he was a baby, like, he loved, like, sweet potatoes and carrots, all orangey stuff. And there's a real for real thing called carotene anemia. And we were getting worried because he was turning orange. And the doctor was like, okay, we'll just try to vary his diet because he's... Um, got carotene anemia and so finally we, you know he started eating other things too but his little nose was still orange have you seen that okay <laughs> yeah yep he had the carotene anemia it was cute because it, it wasn't really hurting him but he's turning one <laughs> okay here's another one look how pretty this one is so the little ball is facing forward it's got that kind of garnet dark garnet color to it isn't that pretty and I'll have to go through with my magnet and, and check them all out. Yeah. <laughs> you should see. Oh, wow. A lot of enamel chickens, Shirley says. Now look at this one. Okay, this is another thing. So scarabs, that's a little scarab. Scarabs will sell. And the name of this, I always forget the name of this green and pink stone. And I look it up every single time. I can't remember the name of it. Mm, Uncleite, is that right? Something like that? You, you can light. Oh, gosh. Oh, now I have to look it up. Green. Help me, jewelry lovers. Green and pink stone. I think it's called Uncleite. I'm probably saying it wrong. Stone. This is me Googling. Uncleite, right? Right? Okay. And I have to look it up every time Lydia says Uncleite. Yep. Yep, that's right. U-N-A-K-R-T-E. There we go. Pretty. Okay, good. Everybody in the chat's like, yes, yeah, that's right. Okay. Cool. Okay. Then here's the next one. Again, real pretty. So this one I can say that it's um, engravable. So it's got that blank on it that if they wanted to put somebody's initial, they could. So there's that. Again, really pretty and delicate and feminine looking. I just love it. Here's one with the mother of pearl oh these are so pretty they're just like little they're just like candy super pretty okay here's one this one looks like it's got a medallion let's see if it says anything on it i can't read it it's too small oh it says things but i think it's Oh, um, oh gosh, I can't think of the word for it. And <laughs> it's going to make me look really bad. I can't think of it. I think it's Jewish. I think. Maybe. I can't read it, but I think that's right. I'll have to look at it again closer. But, yeah. And inside this little, like, cross, inside of it, there's like a, a oil lamp. You know, like a little oil lamp. Cool. That's cool. I'll look. I'll look at it closer later. Now this one. Guess why? I thought, guess why I picked this one up. So this was in there, and it, in the in the light, it's kind of reflecting like a cat's eye, but it's not. It's got this amber look to it. So I'm gonna have to check it out. And I this is one of the things I saw in the lot that I was like, oh, I think that might be amber. So I'm gonna have to double check this one. Let me see if I see any flaws or anything in it. It's also called the Easter Stone, Margaret says. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to look at it closer. But it looks like it looked like amber when I chose the lot. Okay, look at this one. Pretty. It's again that dark red stone. Really, really pretty. Oh, okay. I keep thinking I see little marks. No, 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 no. Okay. Then, oh, there's a really cute one. 
Again, really feminine, dainty, pretty. How pretty and feminine that is. This one is RB. R on one side, B on the other. That's cool. That is cool. You wear that on your lapel like so. RB. Hmm. And then this one, I've seen something kind of like this before. It fans out. It's got a little tassel that fans out like so. How are we doing in the chat? Hey, Pooja. There's that. Closes up like so. And then this one, take a look at this one, you guys. It's got a little locket on it. Look, look. Let's see if there's anything in the locket. Secrets. Nope. It opens, though. Teeny, teeny, teeny little. Oh, good. <laughs> You're watching. Good, good, good. I should have outbid me, Margaret says. <laughs> there we go. So that was the, <clears throat> what did I say? There, there was, it was $13 for this lot. Okay, let's get this up there. All right, let's see what's next. RB for some of those Arby's, right? <laughs> they just built an Arby's near us. My mom loves Arby's. Okay, so next, opening this one carefully, make sure it doesn't spill out. We've got some more, is that everything? Okay, we did that one, Scarfman's Pickles. Elephants. Yeah, pins. Is that right? No. Maybe they put them all in one. Hang on. One lot, two, three, four. Okay, there should be two more lots. Maybe they put them both into this. Let's find out. I'll bet they did. I'll bet they did. If not, I have a lot missing. But I think that's everything. Okay, first up, it's another hat pin lot, and but these are big ones. All right. Look at this one. Look at that. Big, long, crazy hat pin. This is, reminds me of, like, the 50s and 60s, right? That would have that big, goofy, with a big, crazy hat pin. Look at that. Is that real hair? I think that might be real fur, honestly. I don't know what to do now, because that does not seem like the kind of fur that would be okay. Well, we'll have to learn about that while <laughs> we, uh, yeah, okay. I thought, when I saw it in the thing, but I thought it was just going to be like this faux pom-pom, right? I think this is real. Let's see. And I don't, because it looks like some kind of big cat fur, right? Which is not okay. Well, we'll just set that over there. Does it have mites? I hope not. Yeah, I think so. But, but, like I said, I didn't think it was going to be real when I saw the picture of it. It looks like like a faux. I may not be able to sell it. It can go with my ivory. <laughs> oh, okay. So here's another one. This one has got these black. It's like black beaded. Really long. It's a very very long one. It's really pretty though. Like so. Leopard hat pin 1940s. Yeah, I'm like, I'm pretty sure I can't sell. I don't think I can sell that. Yeah. So there, yeah, I, yeah, Margaret in the chat, I was saying, I, when I saw the picture, but I didn't really think. Yeah, some of these look like they could be mourning for sure. Okay, so here's another one. So sometimes when you get the hat pins and they've got the stuff on top. So, really long one. Most of these are the longer, longer types. So here, oh, look at this one again. So there's that. Looking like um, that Art Nouveau look. So, very cool. That looks like silver, too. I'll have to look at it closer on that. Pretty. All right. And then we've got a couple more that have the black on top. And here is one that's like a crystal crystal ball faceted long one. How do you ship those? <coughs> well, either 
the really long ones like this, I could either Frankenbox them, you know, like get my six by four by four and create a box long enough for them. I wouldn't put them in a mailer. <laughs> unless, well, unless I really secured them with cardboard, then I could probably put them in a mailer. Like bubble wrap them and. Yeah, Dev said, yeah, I agree. Um, for the late seller, late cameras, they bid on a lot of jewelry. And this is, yeah, so um, these are things that there was an online auction and there were different lots, just like an auction auction. And then you can bid on the lots you want. And when you win, you pay and they mail it to you. So it wasn't an eBay auction, it was an auction house auction. So there's a couple more. This one's really pretty. And it's got M I. Or am I seeing it backwards? No, M I. Or it could be a year. What does M stand for? In Roman numerals. Okay, there's some of these pins that are poking out the sides. This one is crazy long. This is look at how long this one is. That is a very long pin. Okay, and another one with the black. Yeah, I mean, some of these definitely look like they would be either morning or, yeah. You can buy pen boxes in a lot. Take two together. If oh, that's a good idea. Thank you, Bilda. Okay, I'm going to pull these out and set them down so I can get them all out. Here it comes. Okay, here we go. So some of them are just like this, this style. This one's a bit different. Take a look. I like the detailing on it. It's really pretty. Isn't that cool? Okay, then there's a few more that are like so. You know, and these ones I'll probably put in a lot together. Then this one is pretty cool. Look. So it's like glass. I think it's glass. Yeah. It's pretty neat. Oh, hey, Angela. <laughs> this is all your fault. <laughs> this is from the uh, auction that you told us about in the group. <laughs> so, yeah, these are the lots. I was showing the lots I won from that auction. Okay, and then this one. It's got like a button on the top, like so. I can't read what it says on the button, so let me peek. It says, hmm, cool. It looks like it's C O R C O R. B E O S. It's either a G or a C. I'll have to look it up. All right, so almost it. And there's this two happens in the little box. That's pretty cool. It's ready in the box. Okay, is that everything? I think that's it. Okay, so I'm going to be sorry about the the lighting. The blind. The sun is going down, and so it's going through the blinds. I'm striped. So I'm going to be finding my magnet amongst my mess over here and going through a few of them. My favorite, I think, is this one right here. I just love it. I love it, love it. It's beautiful. Okay, so I will definitely be checking these out a little closer. And I'm sure, go back. <laughs> you love the glass one the most, Deb says. Yeah, um, so I'm definitely going to be checking out this auction again. If you are interested, join Jewelry Lovers and Sellers because, yeah, I didn't want to share what, what it was because it was uh, shared in the group. And again, if you are in Jewelry Lovers and Sellers or thinking about it, we are, I'm going to put up a post probably this afternoon about us doing a Secret Santa um, Jewelry Lovers in, within Jewelry Lovers. So I think that'd be really fun to do a Secret Santa. We'll just have to set up some parameters and things like that. So if you're interested, the link is down below, five bucks a month or $50 for the year, and we'd love to have you. All right, thanks again, and I'm gonna go, they have some new lots up, I'm gonna go peruse them.
while my kids are playing video games. And I will. <laughs> we have an auction with them right now. We'll ship. Angela says, oh, yeah. Yep. Yep. They shipped it right to me. Oh, no. It's okay, Angela. I won't tell. I didn't tell. <laughs> She's like, I can't believe I gave away my honey hole. Oops. But I did, I'm not telling. Okay. I'm just sharing what I got. <laughs> okay. Okay. Thanks so much, you guys, for watching. Go over there and hit that thumbs up. And if you are new, or don't always have stripes. Um, but, yeah, I'd love to have you subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys later. <laughs> Bye.